Hello everyone, welcome to Edupedia World videos. We are learning PowerPoint and my name is Neeru Varma. Topic for today's session is working with the images. And course goal is introduction about the images, how do we insert it, how do we insert the images in the slides and locating and inserting clip arts, inserting screenshots and resizing and moving the images. So by the end of the session you will be able to perform all these tasks. Starting with the introduction. Adding picture to the presentation make it more presentable and this is the best way to communicate the idea in a more effective way. And if we talk about working with the images, these are the operations we are going to perform on the images. So let's start. First we have insert the image from a file. We can do this from two ways. One is click on insert and then you have the picture icon here. Click on the picture icon then you can browse for the location where you have saved the picture. If it's there on your desktop or on the C drive, browse the location, select the picture and click on insert. You will get the picture on the slide. So this is how you can insert the picture. I am deleting it right now. The second way is that you already have the placeholder on your slide. You can click on that and by clicking on the placeholder you can insert the image in your slide. I will show you how. Click on insert. Uh, let me select the blank slide first. new slide and insert the slide ok so now here if I want to insert an image then I have this icon here in the placeholder insert picture from a file click here and directly it's going to open up the the page or the dialog box it asks you to select the location of the file where you have saved browse the location select the picture and click on insert you will get the image on your screen on the slide so it's going to insert the image on the placeholder. So these are the two ways by which you can insert the picture on your slide on the presentation. Then second we have locating and inserting from the clip art. Then again click on insert you have the clip art option here. Select clip art then you will get a dialog box here on the right hand side extreme right clip art search for I have already written here food items you can search for anything for example let's say rain then you have the second drop down here result should be now it gives you certain option. The result should be the audio file, the video file or the photographs. What do you want to select? We have selected photographs here. Place a tick check mark in front of photographs. Now there is a box here include office.com content. Place a check here. And now click on go. Okay. So we have got some images of rain here. You can click on any image and you'll get that on your screen. So let's remove the images. Now as you can see we have an option here include office.com content. If you remove the check mark from this and click on go then you will be searching the content in your system itself in your computer if you have the clip art saved on your computer it's going to search from the system itself and then it will show you the result otherwise you can place a check mark here include office.com content and then you can click on search So this is how you can insert the clip art in your slides. There is other way also as we have this. There is a other way also 
with the help of the placeholder. We do have an icon here on the placeholder. Double click on this and you will get the same box here on the right hand side. And then you, you can perform the action. You can write a word, what do you want to select. Then click. then click on go and in the same way we have selected include the office.com content here so you'll be getting the images click on this and you'll get that on your screen this is how we can insert the images with the help of the clip art and the picture icon moving further we have another option of inserting the screenshots in the slide let me show you how we can insert the screenshots click on insert here insert tab then we have the images group and we have the option here screenshot click on this it show you one option here available windows in the available windows it show you the available screenshot it means the windows that are opened in your desktop once you click on that it give you two three options so select this and you'll get the screen here there is a folder which has been opened in the background so I have got the image of that particular folder on the slide. This is how we can insert the screenshot of a window which has been opened in the background. The other option is inserting the screen clipping of a window. Click on insert. then you have the second option here screen clipping click on this and this is how the mouse cursor turns to a black plus sign now you have to click here drag your window like this and select the content that you want to insert in your slide now we want to insert only this particular option this is the selected area once you're gonna leave the mouse this particular selected area the selected image is being inserted on your slide so this is how we can insert a screen clipping in our slide the next we have resizing and moving the images Suppose we insert this particular, let me insert a image on the slide, wait, yeah, we have inserted this particular image on the slide, if we want to resize it, then place the mouse cursor on the corner left click on the mouse and then try to drag it so this is how you can change the size place the cursor of your mouse on the corners if you want to make it like this or you want to stretch it in the up direction You want to resize it like this so by placing your cursor on the corners you can change the size of a particular image and if you want to move it place your cursor here and look at the cursor that how the sign of the cursor changes here now press it and hold it and you can move the image anywhere leave it you can drag it to some other place and leave it in this way you can move the image now we have seen that how we can resize and moving the images also so in this way we can insert the images to the presentation and make it more presentable we do have certain option that how we can insert the images we have learned that how we can insert the images from your own system itself you can click on the picture icon here or from with the help of the placeholder 
you can click on the icon and then you will get a window to browse the location that from where you want to select the image and want to insert that in your slide. The second option is that you can search the images from the clip art. So you can click on the clip art on the right hand side you will get the option to search for your subject. So enter the name, click on go and include the office.com content. Once you search, uh, once you click on go then it's going to show you all the images which are available. So by browsing on the images you can insert any image on your slide. Then we have the screenshot option available, inserting the screenshot. If you have any web page open in the background, for example, let's say uh, what we write here in the Google images of raincoat. So we have a window open here. Let's try to uh, insert a screenshot. Click on insert. We have got the window in the available windows now. You can see here we are getting two windows. One is the folder window which has been opened in the background and second one is the web page. The explorer window where we have searched for the images. So if you click on this you will get the entire picture on the screen on the slide. And other option is that you can click on the screen clipping and you can yeah, do this and you have got the image on your screen. So this is the best way to insert the pictures, to insert the screenshot on your system. You can do it online. Whenever you are preparing a presentation or you have a topic available with you, you can search for the images on the Google and try to insert the images here directly. So this is how you can insert the screenshots and you can clip the screenshots also. This is a very good and interesting feature. We have already seen that how we can resize and move the images. You can insert it with the help of the arrow keys on the corner. Try to resize the image, place your mouse cursor here, click and then try to drag it to some other location. You can do it with the help of the arrow keys on your keyboard as well. You can keep pressing the arrow keys and your object is going to move on a constant rate. So this is how all these operations can be performed on the images. So I guess we are comfortable while working with the images for inserting, deleting, resizing it, everything. So that was it for today's session. Thank you. Thanks for watching Edupedia World videos.